Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Boone, coming at you all with a brand new Supreme Drop List video. That's right, it is Supreme Week. Uh, who cares? This week is looking just on the surface somewhat like a brick week, which <laughs> y'all know what that means. It's time to cook it up on the site this Thursday. However, I do see some potential for some sleeper items this week. I know a lot of you are probably going to write this one off as just a trash week. You're going to sleep in, catch some Z's, and I don't blame you. Honestly, I would keep sleeping if I was you as well so I can get to these sleeper items that will also end up bricking because nobody knows how to sell on StockX. Um, but yeah, we're going to talk about resale predictions today. As some of you may notice, we have this lovely floating emoji head just over here in the corner. My man's rocking that purple TNF in this very grainy photo with the devil emoji. I don't know the name of these Jordans my man's got on. I'm gonna call them like the Jonestown purple Kool-Aid ones. I don't know. Um, I don't know shoe names at all, but I actually really rock with the homies fit. He is our new subscriber of the week. If you want to be a subscriber of the week, drop a sub on this channel. DM me on Instagram with proof you subbed. I'll add you to my Discord and in the Discord our donators get a chance to be the sub of the week every week and I promise I'm gonna be doing this every week again I kind of took a little break from it but subscriber of the week is back also one last thing I have to say before we begin this video it is no supreme November I've made my mind up in this whole month I'm not gonna be rocking any supreme in any videos so stay tuned just check the fits every day I swear to God not even the hat it was really hard for me to find hats that like aren't supreme because I love my supreme s logos but I promise every single day this month you guys are not gonna see me wearing any supreme and i'm gonna do my best to make some videos that aren't as supreme related just to give some of you a break because i'm certainly getting tired of supreme's bs but let's get into this week now i hope you guys enjoy so here we are on supreme community as you can see we have a ton of ugly ass items in front of us and we're about to talk about them so let's just get right into it starting it off with the stop crying hooded sweatshirt and they basically made this hoodie for everyone calling this a brick week they're like oh you guys think this is a brick week wait till next week because that's about to be 10 times worse I hope not because it's actually a struggle to find what to go for in this week's live cop But this is definitely not gonna be the item I cop on the front We have whatever this logo is. It's like kind of a box logo, but it's also like I don't even know dude This is such a bizarre logo I've never really seen them use before which I know sounds stupid because it is a box logo But I guess they've never used the box logo in this way and I actually haven't seen the backside of this hoodie It's actually not as ugly as I thought it was gonna be I will say the color they chose is disgusting at least on this purple I really wish they had switched up the colors on this. It kind of reminds me of like the hysteric glamour prints that had all these random words with different colors and stuff. That would have made this way cooler, but just using that one color all over it is pretty boring. I mean, I'm sure everyone's gonna be thinking the black color's the one to go for, and I probably would say that is the best of any of these hoodies, but I wouldn't even bother going for this. It's a brick, like, I'm sorry. It's just not the one. Hoodies have not been doing too well this season, so I would not bother with this one. Um, moving on though, we have have some of my favorite items of the week. The patchwork leather is finally here and I'm actually a humongous fan of these items. Um, it's really nice to see Supreme drop some like actual quality bags that aren't just the normal Cordura or whatever. Um, these are going to be leather, they're going to be patchwork which means they're going to be a lot of money. Um, we do also have some leather Nike shoes I'll talk about. I actually do think these are super cool. I love the minimalisticness of them like there's not some red box logo or super loud Supreme branding. We just have the tonal box logo at the top. I'm a big fan of these. I actually think these are dope. They kind of remind me of some like Mesa Margiela. I would love to cop one of them, but it really depends on retail and I'm so bummed I don't have retail for this video because it would help out a lot with predicting the resale on these. We've never really had bags they've done that are quite like this, so it is a bit hard to gauge, but I can tell you every leather bag for the most part from Supreme has performed well. This has a box logo. This duffel bag as well has a box logo. Let me know which of the bags you guys like the most. I don't know if this one does okay it does have a box logo i really am a big fan of these bags not so crazy about the shoulder bag i don't like this added compartment but between the three i think the best to go for is going to be the backpack i think the shoulder will be second with the duffel and last and again resale on these really does depend on the retail like if they're 300 plus dollars they might not resell for too much bread. However, if they're around 200, 250, uh, it's kind of like hopeful though because they are leather and we have $500 leather sneakers this week, but please Supreme. Also stock numbers makes a huge difference for these. So I would say check out the EU sellout 
times before the release um, and try to gauge like how much of stock there was for these. If they sell out pretty fast, definitely go for them. Um, next up, the afternoon camp cap. And this is actually kind of a dope hat. Like I'm never one to hype up camp caps, you guys know that, but I just love the scene that's going on here. It looks like a whole artwork on this hat. This is actually a really cool one. Um, I would actually love to rock this if I could not look like an absolute idiot in these camp caps, but they just fit my head absolutely tragically. So I'm never gonna happen. I just can't do it. Um, the iridescent puffy, I've seen a lot of hype for this one. I don't really know why, to be honest. I'm not a big fan of this. Um, I do like iridescent stuff, I suppose. Like, it's definitely an interesting material choice. But I just don't think these are going to be very wearable. They're definitely going to be crazy expensive. We do have some Supreme branding on the backside, which is going to help it out a lot. But I don't think it's going to make it worth resale. I would guess these are going to be like 350 to 400 bucks, which is a hefty amount. And it's just, I don't know. It's not for Supreme fans, I don't think. Um, it's definitely nothing that's going to flip for a lot of money. So I would just avoid these unfortunately these patchwork bags so far the only good items this week hq waffle thermal and don't just write these off right away like i know they look super boring minimalistic however these are not the worst like i've definitely seen 10 times worse designs this season these are kind of clean in my opinion i actually really like the backside. i kind of wish this was just a normal long sleeve and not waffle thermal material because like i don't know this is just such a nice minimalistic shirt that's not doing too much hq hooded sweatshirt definitely not as into this one as i am the waffle thermal um, the cotton field jackets I am surprised these are so far down the list right now because low-key this camo one's not too bad and I'm never one to be like oh bro camo stuff is so gas like I usually am a big hater of camo prints because I just think they're kind of loud obnoxious but I do kind of like the brown colorway they chose for this and the classic logo blends in gorgeously on this one it actually is a very appropriate logo for the jacket I think this could even maybe resell if the retail is not insane definitely not a hater on this one I think this is a clean jacket the other colorways are whatever like I wouldn't say anything about them I wouldn't cop them but this camo is not the worst but I don't know if it's actually gonna resell or not it really does depend on retail you got some knit logo crushers I accidentally call these lit logo crushers and they are far from that because I mean nah bro just i wouldn't cop these i don't know i bought a crusher last week and it's bricking savagely so like don't do it just don't be me all right just avoid at all costs these crushers because i just don't think it's worth it if you were to buy one maybe that baby blue but yeah i probably wouldn't bother you got some more hq beanies god these are not that bad but i just wouldn't even buy them dude what even is this this looks so <laughs> these are terrible bro what are these supreme just be adding the most unnecessary stuff to their beanies sometimes i swear bro i don't even know what to talk about this week like i swear the items this week are so dull and just bricks like there's literally not jokes to be made about any of this stuff it's just a straight up brick like i'm trying to make some comedy in this video or get hyped about an item so far the patchwork is the only thing that i'm like somewhat like woo maybe go cop it everything else so far trash next up the demonetized long sleeve top i'm not saying that what you mean no bro do that like what is this though really i know some of you probably thought like oh boone might rock with this one super edgy i mean like really mind f word what even dude like this is just so like beyond edgy this should be like merch for david blaine or something like that i swear oh my god you're david blaine lift up your shirt Ow! Ow! because that's the only thing it's relevant to. Um, what a weird one, dude. I don't even know. The design's not even that bad, but like the word they used is just so bizarre. Um, hell no. Next up, Buffalo plaid shirt. Dude, Supreme, you are such a weirdos, man. What is this? Like, this is so bizarre. No, nah, dude, I know this is gonna be such a high retail. Like, you would think that a flannel wouldn't be that much money. Oh, it is wool, so RIP. No, nah, this is not it at all. Um, you would think, though, that like just a flannel shirt wouldn't be that much money, but it is. Supreme's gonna get the there's regardless but finally folks finally we can go talk about my favorite item of the week that I think I'm gonna be copping for myself and I've waited for this one to drop all year so I could hype it up because I knew I knew people would be roasting this one folk like I knew it and it's at the bottom of the totem pole and guess what I want you all to stay sleeping because last time we had a cardigan I said that shit would flip and everyone was like <laughs> 
Bro, you are smoking meth, my G, and uh, hmm, it went for double retail, so I don't know what y'all on, but I'm on this cardigan wave looking like your grandpa at the damn Thanksgiving dinner with the beautiful grandma's couch floral print going down both sides. I love this item, bro. Don't clown me for this one. This is a great piece, and I swear the fact that I rock with this and probably am gonna buy it means you guys cannot call me a hype beast because I could care less about a Supreme logo. I could care less about what something's worth or what it's hype is. I like to buy what I rock with and this is a very dope cardigan. If you don't agree, I guarantee you're chasing logos because it's a gorgeous piece. Like, how are you gonna tell me this is ugly? You could definitely get head in the back of a TGI Fridays with this cardigan on. I'm just saying. What? And like, I think this is a really cool one. I don't know which color I prefer to be honest. I low-key kind of am rocking with the crimson a little bit. This is such a holiday vibe. Like, I swear to God, it's holiday season. We're about to cop this um, because honestly, there's nothing else to go for and I think it's pretty decent for the personal. It could even resell. Like, it is wool, so I'm a little worried. Retail could be too damn high, but I'm gonna be copping this this week without a doubt, I think. Please don't wreck me on this retail, I swear to God. So now we're about to talk about the Supreme Nike garbage bags that these are, bro. Like, I would straight up cop this to throw my trash in because these are so ugly in every single regard, not just design-wise. Like, I don't think the design's the worst I've ever seen. I mean, we did get them Jolly Rancher shits before, but these are their own breed of disgusting just because they're $500. Don't even try to play me and act like Italian leather is $500. I'm gonna tell y'all a quick story. Chanel bags used to be made in France, right? And Chanel vintage bags used to be made of really high quality. People loved them. The stitching was great, everything. Now Chanel bags are still made in France. However, they stitch on like two straps in France and the rest is done in China. And I can almost guarantee the exact same thing is happening with these sneakers. Yeah, homie, these some Italian leather. We're definitely not jugging you for 500 bucks. Like this is a great deal. Do not do it, all right? Supreme is the cheapest in the game. Supreme has been caught time and time again, spending the least money possible. Like just look at one of the Nike collabs that actually was sold to TJ Maxx's and then Supreme bought back the stock to use for a collab. Nike embroidered on the front. You could literally see the tag ripped off. Like they ripped off the price off of it. They got this in clearance and sold it to us for regular price. I'm just saying, Supreme will license the cheapest photo they can in collaboration. Supreme will find a way whenever they're doing collabs to spend the least money possible. And I can almost guarantee this shoe is not fully made in Italy. I would bet you they do like the smallest thing in Italy with these and then ship the rest of them to China to do the rest. I swear to God, this is a jug, bro. Like they're straight running for our wallets right now. Supreme is robbing us because this is just another example of Supreme switching up the whole brand image, what they're about, what they do. Like I am just so disgusted with this shoe and what it means for Supreme. I know some of you might think I'm overreacting, but we have to think about it this way. Last season, we had the Swarovski box logo. Let me remind you, that was supposed to be a 25th anniversary of the company and it had nothing to do with Supreme or its history in any way. Not to mention Swarovski crystals do not cost the four or $500 retail they were charging for the shirt. But it just goes to show Supreme is trying to find ways now to increase their retails ridiculously high um, because they know they can cut out the resellers by doing so. And it just feels like the opposite of what Supreme used to be. Like Supreme used to be a streetwear brand for skaters, for people of the street. And now they're trying to be some fashion label, dropping $500 Italian leather sneakers, making Swarovski crystal box logos that have nothing to do with the brand. I'm sorry I'm ranting so hard, but I'm just pissed about these shoes, bro. Not to mention, the design Supreme put on them is so basic and boring, like you literally just added a Supreme embossed logo. That's that's nothing. There's no kind of creativity with this sneaker. The colorways are absolutely tragic. I will say the black one gets a pass. If you're a fan of the black sneaker, I get it. I mean, it's kind of hard to make an ugly all black Nike Air Max. Like, I don't know how you could do it. Whew, okay, I think I'm calm now. I just had to get that little rant out. I was actually gonna make a video yesterday just ranting about this sneaker and just how stupid it is of a shoe. However, I figured you guys wouldn't like to watch me just complain like that, but I just did it right now. I just had to go off real fast because Supreme continues to just jip its customers. Like remember when there was a dirt bike that was releasing this season that was supposed to be for the general public and then Supreme backdoored every single one of them for a profit? That's so weird. Like Supreme almost doesn't care about any of its customers. It's insane, but we still support the brand. I low-key be getting sick of this Supreme shit sometimes and this is why. This is just disgusting to me. That's the 
video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Our best resale items of the week. I, this is a rough one. Probably gonna be the backpack, it's my guess. Backpack or the leather shoulder bag. Besides that, maybe this camo jacket, maybe, depends on retail. Um, maybe the cardigan. The cardigan's kind of a stretch. I would definitely buy it for the personal um, instead of trying to cop it just to resell. But yeah, don't buy these sneakers. These are not gonna flip. But that's the video. I'll see you all in the next one. It's been your boy, Boone. I'm out, peace. If I went down again, would you get tired?